Welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm going to be playing a Sega Master System title, Space Harrier. Um, yes, the Sega Master System was one of those systems that I just didn't get to play too much when I was younger. Um, my cousin had it, and I remember going to, over to his house that one time, and, and I seen it, and it was, you know, the black console, and he had the gun with it and everything, and I was like, you know, looking at it, like, what's with the black Nintendo kind of thing? I didn't really know what it was. And so I started playing it with him, and, and Space Harrier was the game I remember playing. Um, and then, you know, I didn't really get too familiar with the Master System uh, up until, you know, um, I, I ended up buying one. But um, really, I played a lot of Sega Genesis games. But anyways, yeah, so I thought I'd go back and revisit this game, because I haven't played it in a long time. And I'm not sure if I even remember how to play it, but I don't think it's that complicated anyways, so let's jump right into the game. Start button! Okay. So the uh, one-eyed, uh... What was that, mammoth? Uh, okay, stage one, moot! Moot? <laughs> oh, things come at you fast. Okay, remember now, you, you have to fly around and shoot crap in the air. <laughs> Whoa. I, I do remember seeing this, though, when the first time I saw it, I was like, you know, kind of like amazed by it. I'm like, wow, it's like the character's flying towards the screen and stuff's coming at you in 3D. Well, you know, kind of 3D. <laughs> I love how his cannon has that little smiley face on the back. Oh, this doesn't look good. Yeah, that's how you say it. Oh. Oh, I see. I gotta wait till they, uh, open their mouth. So much going on. What? Ooh. Did I just run into my own fire? <laughs> I think I would talk, so that's, that's a good touch. Dead? Game over. Yeah, I didn't make, make it very far. But I made the score list. Woo. Let's try that one more time. Huh. This is just stage one. Now, I don't know if there was more than one button that was used on this game, or if it was just the one button. Oh, that thing hit me. That was not good. I'm assuming it's safer to, to, to move around than it is to try and stay centered in, in the screen. There's just so much crap flying at you. This definitely does take it up a level, you know, from the standard shooter games that I'm used to playing on, say, like the Atari. <laughs> Or even games like, uh, what's it called? There, there's, whoa. There's a, there's a bunch of games that I'm, I'm kind of familiar with as being shooter games, but this is definitely a different perspective. Those trees just come at you. I don't know what hit me there. <laughs> ah, game over again. Dang. Game's harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, I'll just like try and shoot as much as I can. I don't know if there's a, an advantage to being on the ground. Oh, you trip over stuff. Uh, that's a disadvantage. how this stuff just kind of comes right from behind you. Just like in Star Strike on the Intellivision where the, the, uh, the, the planes come from behind you. And then you can't deal with them until they're in front of you. Whoa. Kill you all with my smiley cannon. Oh, jeez! Those trees are everywhere. The 
only time I'm used to running into trees like that is when I'm playing golf on the Nintendo. I don't know if this system has a golf game. I, I should check that out. Probably is. Again, I haven't really uh, explored too much of the uh, Master System library. Um, I do have a Master System, and I do have a bunch of games for it, but it's been a while since I've actually looked at the games to, to remember what I have. Well, I got a little further there. <laughs> I wonder why the levels or the stage is called Moot. There's a 3D one I saw, but you need the 3D glasses. It's funny, I remember buying uh, at the local store, I picked up a uh, the Zaxxon 3D cartridge for the Sega Master System, and I didn't realize you needed glasses for it. <laughs> I came home and I put it in my Sega, and I'm like, oh, the graphics are all messed up. And I tried cleaning it and everything, I, I just didn't understand what was going on, and so I just took it back to the store, and I said, this game is it's kind of messed up. And so the guy's like, okay, well, uh, you can just exchange it for a different game then. <laughs> so I did. And then I, afterwards, when I looked it up, I'm like, oh, crap, I needed glasses. That explains why there was two ships. Because it was giving me a 3D perspective. <laughs> oh, jeez, those trees are just annoying. Come on, come on. Holy crap. I, I still haven't even made it to stage two, have I? I think this is like some kind of boss or something coming at me. How do I get over? Oh my god. It's like some kind of weird creature. I keep getting this far and then I'm done. Uh. Let's just do one more. For good old sake. <laughs> is this guy wearing a red shirt or is he like topless? I hope he's wearing a red shirt. Those freaking things are. I'm just gonna keep moving around and try to avoid them. Jeez, I always hit that fireball thing. Oh, everything's blowing up all over me. Yeah, I'm not good at this game at all. <laughs> Dead already? Ah. <laughs> well, it was fun anyways, revisiting this game. It's been a long time, and, uh, you know, I, I, that's what I want to do. I, I, I think I've talked about this in the past, where I said I want to start looking at uh, the Sega titles, so, yeah, now it's my chance. I'm going to start going through Sega, and Genesis, and Game Gear, and all the other fun games that I missed when I was growing up. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think of Space Harrier on the Sega Master System. Hope you liked the video. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.